Okay then, so in this tutorial we're going to be creating a typewriter effect in JavaScript with the help of jQuery. Now I'm going to go ahead and start straight into this um, by creating my HTML document. I'm going to include my head as I usually would and the body as I usually would. So we've set up a pretty standard HTML document. Now the next thing we're going to do is um, create a script type and we're going to include um, our jQuery file. Now this is downloadable from jQuery.com. Uh, you can include the URL but I'm just going to say jQuery.js. Um, oh, sorry. Um, that's in the source. Um, I'm going to include jQuery.js um, just because I have it saved on my computer. Now the type is text forward slash JavaScript. Okay, so what that's done is including the jQuery file so we can use that. The next thing I'm going to do is say script type equals text JavaScript and create a little area where we can um, code everything out hit in here uh, to allow us to um, work and um, put each character in into the uh, body of our document. Now I'm going to create a div and that's going to have the ID of box, I'm going to call it box, and I'm going to end my div there. Now we don't need to enter any text into here at all. Um, our functions up here in the uh, in this area um, are going to deal with that. So the first thing I'm going to do is create um, a few variables. Um, the first one is going to be text and that's going to equal absolutely nothing. Uh, the next one is going to be count and this is an integer so that's going to equal nothing as well for now. And var max speed we're just going to equal 200. We're going to set a max speed for our character, um, um, appending each character of a of a string on t into our div. Okay, so the next thing we want to do is set up the uh, document as it's ready. So we're going to say document dot ready, and inside here we're going to say function. Now inside this block here is where everything's going to go. So I'm just going to pop my uh, semicolon on, on the end of there and then pull this down a bit so we can uh, enter all of our code in here. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to create there's three functions in total for our entire program. The first one is um, character, um, then we're having type, and then we're having a third function that's going to set our text, which is blank at the moment, and then it's going to initiate our type function. So you'll see how everything will come together um, as we do it. Now the first thing we're going to do is create... Um, our function called type and this is the um, main function that types out our text for us and puts it into our uh, div now the first thing we need to do is create a random number and the reason for this is the text as it's being displayed we're not going to display it um, at the same speed we're going to do it at a different speed so it's going to look like it's being typed out by someone um, and to do this we're going to a random character which is going to be um, interpreted as the amount of milliseconds that, um, that are displayed. So math.random, I'm going to times that by max speed. Um, so basically this is the maximum number that's going to be generated, so the maximum amount of milliseconds that are going to be generated. And what we're going to do is, because this value is going to be, not be an integer value, we're going to use math.floor, um, and what this is going to do is it's going to round it down to the nearest integer. Okay, so um, the next thing we want to do is um, to uh, use the sets timeout function, and this is here is the function name. So we're matching the function name inside, and that's going to be random. So we're setting it at a random speed. If let's say that was a thousand that would mean that this function would repeat itself every one second same with a hundred that would be a tenth of a second but we want it at a random value which is taken obviously from here now the next thing to do is append a character to our box now eventually this is going to be each character of our, of our string but for now I'm just going to append so we're saying box so we're taking our box uh, value and I'm appending oh sorry not our box value um, we're taking our div and we're dot append, so we're appending a character on. So I'm going to say A. I'm going to come down here, I'm going to type type. Now that's going to initiate this function, uh, or call this function. Now it's refresh. And you can see that what it's doing is it's uh, constantly appending a value. But you can see that the speed isn't consistent because the random number generator is generating 
how quick it should do each character. So you can see at some points it's going really fast and then at other points it's going really slow. So let's just get rid of this and refresh the page just so it doesn't uh, carry on appending that. Okay, so the next thing we want to do is we need to say count plus plus. Um, this is the integer we set up here. Now the reason we're doing this is in a minute we're going to create a function called character and then we're going to call that function inside append. And what this, uh, what this function is going to do is it's going to allow us to select a specific um, character um, from our string. So let's go ahead and create that. Okay, so function character. Now we need three uh, parameters here. We need start, end, and text. Now start is the uh, the position in which we want to start at to grab um, a select amount of characters and end is where we want to end this. So let's just say we had the text PHP Academy. If I wanted to grab say just PHP, remember we start at zero, I would say the start would be zero and the end would be uh, two. So zero, one, two, that selects PHP. Obviously, we only want to select an individual character at once, so this is always going to be end is always going to be plus one to start. So, if I wanted to select the character, uh, the next character A, this would be zero, one, two, three. So, this is three, and would end that at four. So, it would be uh, th between three and four. So, it would just select character A. So, this will all make sense in a minute if it doesn't already. Um, so our function uh, character, what we want to do is, we, all we want to do is, it's just one line, we want to return text dot substring start end. So the text entered here is what we're applying this method to. And this method is saying start, between start and end, take the substring of this. So pretty straightforward. Um, let's just say we said document dot write character and then we said so we're testing our function start is zero end is one and text is PHP let's refresh we're just given the character P if we wanted to say character one to two this should give us H there you go. So we know that that works now. Uh, we can just get rid of this line and bring this up a bit. Okay, so um, everything's working. So what do we want to append? We want to append our text up here. So at the moment, I'm just going to set this to PHP Academy. Um, now what I'm going to do is come down and I am going to um, put what we need to append. So we need to append each character of this in turn. So P H P then A C A D E M Y. So we're going to use the character function. Now what do we put inside here? We need a start value, an end value, and the text. Now the text is pretty simple. Um, so we need start, end, and text. Text is obviously um, just going to be text because that's the uh, value up here. So we're taking this value and it's been put into our function which is then being fed back into here and then we're using this uh, this here. So the start is going to be count. The reason for this is it starts at zero. The end is going to be count plus one. The reason for this is if you think back to just a second ago when I put zero and one and then one and two and we took P and H you can see we're just adding one to um, the selection here between start and end. So let's give this a test type and let's see what happens okay so we've written out PHP Academy we've got um, a random uh, speed so everything seems to be working now we want to, what we want to do is give the user the option to change this text value um, on the fly as they're uh, calling this function so we're going to create a new function called uh, type it and I'm going to allow the user now to set the text um, in this when, as they call the function and then display um, and then display it in the, in the typewriter fashion so we need a parameter in here I'm going to call it punch um, the reason I called it that is just what's going to be punched into the keyboard uh, what is, what's going to look like being punched into the keyboard 
and maybe silly but it made sense to me so we want to say text equals punch and then we want to say type now this is quite simple what it does is we let's come down here we call the function we say type it and we say php academy watch listen learn now what this does is it takes this here it comes up this is this is punch punk punch equals php academy watch listen learn now we set text up here to what punch equals which is php academy watch listen learn then we just call the type function the type function comes down we set the random we set the timeout and then we append the character of text which now equals what punch equals so we're just uh, coming in and we're setting a global variable if you like um, so let's test that um, it should display now this text okay there you go so what we've done here is we've created a typewriter or typing effect using some random characters to give it a bit more lifelike properties so I hope you enjoyed this tutorial if you're stuck or don't understand anything, uh, please feel free to visit the PHP Academy forum at phpacademy.org forward slash forum. Also remember that there is a PHP Academy landing page at phpacademy.org which allows you to access all areas of PHP Academy quickly. Thank you very much. I hope you enjoy this tutorial.